Hurricane Laura devastated many small businesses here in southwest Louisiana, but one is being nationally recognized for its recovery. KPLC's Devin DeStefano spoke to the company's CEO who says landlocked aviation didn't let challenges get in the way of their success. Businesses are the engine for the economy. That engine nearly shut down in the aftermath of Hurricanes Laura and Delta. Landlocked Aviation, which specializes in painting aircraft, felt the full impact of the storms. And because of the hurricane and the fact that the, the hangars were in disrepair, and we couldn't accept any of our customers' uh, asset in, in the form of aircraft. CEO Tyson Grenzebach says falling on hard times, the company received a loan from the Small Business Administration. It, it spurred us along during the recovery. It helped us get back on our feet a little bit quicker and support the, uh, the aviation industry while supporting our community of Lake Charles. How they put that money to use to rebuild and keep people employed is why they were honored with this year's Phoenix Award for outstanding small business disaster recovery. A shining example, if you will, of, of a phoenix rising from the ashes. They used the proceeds as they were intended, and as a result, the companies not only uh, survived the, uh, the, the disaster effects of uh, the hurricane, but now actually thriving. We thrive on challenges. Uh, we always have. It's part of, part of who we are as a business and part of who we are as individuals in the aviation industry. Despite challenges, Grenzebach says there was never a doubt his company would find its way back on top. In Lake Charles, Devin Stefano, 7 News. Landlock Aviation's resilience paid off. 2022 was a year of record revenue.